first we meet her. We talked about her all last week. It is a morning first for the 57-year-old woman who gave birth to twins last week, the oldest woman in America to do so. Alita St. James is an empowerment coach for women, and it turns out this was not just about having children, but for her, it's a revolutionary message for women in their 40s and 50s to do what they dream, and in her case, the dream was to have a baby. You know, what is 50? What is 70? You're young and I'm young and we're still out there exploring and finding things really interesting. Tell me about the moment you first heard that you were pregnant. Oh, it was very emotional because I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Did you know that you would be the oldest woman in America to no, deliver twins? I didn't. I really didn't. I wasn't even thinking like that, no. I knew that there were very few that did, but I wasn't thinking that it was going to be anything so extraordinary like the oldest woman in America. And what risk did you think you were taking to do this None. at your age? <laughs> None, because I don't, I don't see myself as getting older. There was nothing wrong with me. I didn't have the diabetes. I didn't have any big major problems. The only problem I had in my pregnancy was my sciatic, which a lot of women have, because the babies were right on the nerve. So you really, I mean, that was constant pain. But other than that, the babies were fine. I was in great health. They said, I'm carrying twins like a 30-year-old would. So somebody sitting home and says, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. She had a whole lifetime to do this. It's crazy to do it at this age. Well, I'm a little crazy. <laughs> That's what makes me interesting. But that's their mindset, you know. Well, but they also would say, when, when the children are getting ready to start college, you'll be 79? Let's say I'll be in my 70s, okay. First of all, when you have children, even in your 20s and 30s, you can't guarantee that you're going to be around. You also can't guarantee that you're going to have a great marriage and a wonderful, supportive husband, and you're not going to be divorced, and there's not going to be problems. So you can't guarantee that. I never thought I wasn't going to have children, my own, you know, carry my own children. So the people who say you should have thought of that earlier when you were in your 20s and 30s? Should have, could have, I didn't. It wasn't in my destiny. She comes from adventurous stock. Her brother, Curtis, a star of talk radio, famously founded the Guardian Angels, which protect New Yorkers, and her parents are still active well into their 80s. Looking up. She's been a singer, actor, empowerment coach, but never had quite the perfect relationship. What about the father? It's a friend of mine, a boyfriend way, way back, and he never wanted to have children. And he basically, things didn't work out in a relationship I was in prior to this, and I knew I wasn't going to have a regret because that wasn't happening. So he said to me, Alita, if this is what you really want, and I don't have to have, be a part of it because I really don't want children, so be it, I'll, I'll help you out. And he and, did. And have you heard from him? Does no, he no. Still